I think that finish there from Lewis Crocker was tremendous. Um, am I allowed more than one highlight? Mate, is, that, can, is that how life works? You're allowed have, only one highlight? Have as many as you uh, want, especially for that yeah, 5K run. Yeah. Well, yeah, that was the highlight for me, being able to get around that 5K run without stopping too much. Um, the Chef Clark performance as well for me was a brilliant fight. And Vizioli's knockout was tremendous as well. But I, I don't mean to miss anyone out, but there are a few of my highlights. Frank, we saw um, Conor Walker and Paddy Donovan get two very good wins on this card tonight. Do you think those two can meet in a clash, or is it more likely that Crocker and Paddy Donovan uh, clash next? Yeah, great win from Conor Walker. He's a, he's a brilliant fighter. We saw that in the Cyrus fight. There, there is a potential still of the Cyrus fight. We have to see when he's back and, and ready. You know, the focus for us was to get Conor out. You know, he'd been waiting a long time for that fight, and we, you know, we didn't want to mess him around. We wanted to get him a fight. So the focus is still to try and do the Cyrus rematch at some point, subject to Cyrus being fit and ready. Um, for me, the Lewis Crocker against Paddy Donovan fight is a natural fight. I think that's one we've got to focus on trying to make. Definitely, and Chef Clark's performance as well. It was excellent against Tommy McCarthy as well. Who, who is next for him, or is he, are you going to try and enforce that mandatory with Isaac Chamberlain? Uh, yeah, look, brilliant win from him, you know, in just his, I think, eighth fight tonight, um, going in there against Tommy McCarthy, who Tommy McCarthy showed a lot of heart in there, you know, he's, a, he's always been like that, and it was a real step up for Chef Clark and, a, and the type of win he needs. We made a massive offer for Isaac Chamberlain to, to boxer for that fight. They didn't want it, you know, by far and beyond his highest payday to date. They said they're focusing on the European title, which fair enough, but it, just hopefully they don't hold up the, the British belt, you know, because it's his, it should be his chance to go and win that belt, and I think he's ready for that now. Um, uh, Frank, sorry, uh, Rico here for No Smoke Sport. Um, I have to ask you, mate, uh, I've spoken to Isaac, and Isaac actually said, um, you know, he's, he, uh, with a Vidal fight, 250K, that's the money that he's looking for. Was that the money? <laughs> Is that the amount of money that he was looking for for a fight? with um, your man Chev down there or nearabouts? They, they never actually came back with an amount of money they wanted. We made him a huge offer, which I can confirm would be not buying... No, no, not 250. <laughs> Depends what currency. Um, <laughs> we made him a massive offer, you know, far and beyond what he's ever made in his career before. You know, we were involved in a number of Isaac Chamberlain fights as well in the past, but, um, you know, I don't know whether they spoke to him about it, whether they asked what he would have wanted and came back with a number, but they didn't come back with a number. But um, you know, our focus is Chef Clark. Chef Clark should be Chef Clark's chance to win the British title, so I'm not really worried about what Isaac Chamberlain decides to do, to be honest. Yes. Frank, is there a possibility that Chev could bypass British level and move on to the European title? Possibly, yeah. I mean, look, Chev will go at she the pace Chev wants to go. And as he's shown in his career, he wants to move very quickly. He wants real tests. Um, so, you know, we'll sit down after this and see where he wants to go. But um, if he wants that British title fight, we'll push hard to make that happen. And, you know, maybe another purse people will be pulled out of by someone. And Frank, at the start, of the start of the week, you'd sort of said Crocker and Donovan down the line. Mm. Um, and obviously, I guess, as more people's asking questions, it seems to be in the next. What, mm. What's changed? Is that maybe somebody's slacking, obviously, and saying the UK cards maybe aren't up to the quality they've liked? What's sort of changed in the last couple of days where you know you want it next? I think it's a I think it's a fight that makes a lot of sense next. I think, like, as I said, you know, so many of these fights in the past we speak about, and uh, people say, wait for it, build it up, and you know, loads of things happen. People move up in weight, people lose, and it changes the value of the fight. I think now's the time to make that fight happen. You know, Lewis coming off the back of a finish like that tonight, Paddy. You know, had a, uh, albeit a tough fight, he, I think he did really well and he showed a lot of heart in there and he, he, he boxed well. But um, you know, I just think it's the right fight to do next. I'm not saying it definitely happens next, but that's what I'd like to see. Right. If you big think success, of, sorry, big success in, in obviously Belfast today. Have you ever thought of Canada, coming to Canada, doing a fight there? I've never been to Canada myself. Really? No. I saw it from my hotel room when I was in uh, Detroit. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah, it looked nice though. Everybody <laughs> um, fights there. Yeah, for, for sure. You know, the guys were actually out there a couple of weeks ago for the Callum Smith fight against Paterbiev. They had a number of uh, positive meetings. But yeah, look, we're a global business. We would look to put shows on all around the world. So Canada would definitely be of interest. Frank, I, I have to ask you, I'm, I'm sorry to kind of get away from the card, but Josh Taylor and Jack Catterall, now there seems to be back and forth, forths and backs. Um, you know, it's all kind of down to the money. You, well, DAZN aren't putting this, obviously, on pay-per-view because you don't believe it is a pay-per-view fight. Um, what's your thoughts on it landing on Sky? Uh, yeah, look, if that's what, you know, if other people believe it's a pay-per-view fight, fair enough. You know, look, we represent Jack Catterall and we've had a, a, a great, we, I think we work really well with Jack Catterall and we're not going to stand in the way of a fight happening, you know, if we don't 
see or, or unable, you know, we're not going to put it on pay-per-view, that fight. Um, it's a brilliant fight, yeah. and I, I believe Jack Cashel goes in there and writes a wrong, and I believe he gets the win in there. Um, but, you know, if there's someone willing to pay uh, an extortionate sum for it, fair play. Jack Cashel will go and make your money, and he'll be right back with us after. So the, the fight's obviously not signed. No, 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 no. But the discussion's ongoing. You know, I speak to Sam Jones daily. We we don't promote Josh Taylor. He's with with top rank. But um, let's see. Right, Mike, I just want to go back to the Donovan Crocker again. Um, obviously, the plan was for for Paddy Donovan to have a homecoming in Limerick. Mm. Um, we've obviously heard maybe there's a potential a card here again in June in Belfast. Does that sort of scupper the plans a wee bit? Where you just wanted to maybe do a homecoming for Paddy Donovan. Maybe the right thing maybe to let him have his homecoming to then build the fight further maybe towards the end of the year or is it just 100% focused on making that next? Look, again, they've all got to agree. So I'm just saying that would be my... I, I think that's the perfect fight to do next. But, you know, it might not be. It might not be. I might be wrong and it might not happen. But, um, you know, I think I think both guys are up there. I think the teams, certain people in the teams are up for it. Um, so let's see. You know, it's, uh, it's something that's got to be worked on over the next week or so. Is there the potential of an MD fight Connor Ben next? Who? For either party or Lewis? Uh, I, I don't think so. You know, we've obviously seen the names that um, Connor's calling out. He's got his fight next week. You know, he wants world title fights. Um, so let's see. Um, Frank, are you Giorgio, Giorgio Vizioli obviously performed it, got another stunning KO on this card as well. How important is it for uh, prospects like Giorgio to perform on the big stage with KOs like that? 100%. You know, they're the kind of, that's what's going to build him. You know, he's had two knockouts in the same fashion, back to back, you know, Dublin, then here. He's had two fights in just over two months now. And we've got to keep him busy and active. And we're going to take him all around the country and all around the world. And if he keeps doing that, he's going to build himself into a huge position. He's a young fighter. He's got a massive future. And he is doing exactly what fighters need to do. At the end of the day, you can be a personality. You can do a lot of talking. But people want to see knockouts. And that's what he's doing. Frank, Frank how we saw are you guys going to uh, try and make quick, that? You are, Rico. <laughs> Thank you, mate. <laughs> um, uh, you can go next, buddy. Um, are, are you? Uh, how how long are you guys going to try and make that Connor Ben and Chris Eubank fight? Uh, look, I will make it my life's mission personally. But um, oh yeah, I've done, look, I've done a lot of work on it. I spent a lot of time on it. It's something that I've focused many many hours of my life on. But done also done a lot of talking about it, and uh, it's a massive fight. Of course, you'd be crazy to think. We don't want to make it happen, but at the same time, we're not going to let, you know, it hold up Conor Ben's career any longer. Uh, if that fight can happen, if, if people are uh, sensible and we can, you know, make that fight happen, then then great. But, you know, we got to get on with Conor Ben's career. There's many big fights for Conor Ben to make a load of money in. And, um, but I, you know, I'm not going to sit here in line and say, no, I'm not interested anymore. Of course, we would love to see that. We saw Eddie had the chance to sit down with Oscar De La Hoya the other day. How do you imagine that went? Uh, I'm sure they got on swimmingly well. You know, the the game's changing. Everyone's getting on at the minute. You know, um, long may it continue because if it's for the good of the sport, you know, boxing for too long has has had a tough time of maybe not delivering the fights we need to see, and that's probably why UFC's taken over the position that boxing has because they've delivered fights that people want to see. And I think if more people working together is only going to be good for the sport. Back to My final one, um, Ellie Scottney uh, is one of the fighters that's kind of missing from the from the announcements that you made the other day. Is a is a unification with Erica Cruz likely, or does Erica have to fulfil that mandatory that was called by the WBA? Uh, this unification could could surpass a mandatory, obviously, um, but conversations ongoing about the next fight for her. The team, I think, you know, Tom Dallas was speaking to her team earlier, so um, new soon. Crocker Donovan, back to that. Um, the Irish public and everyone involved in the fight, including Donovan and uh, Crocker and the Conlans and things like that. They seem quite protective over big Irish fights and want to do it very, very well. Obviously, you guys have been a matrim. I mean, as you guys want to get it done straight away because it's such a great fight. So how are you going to deal with that? It's kind of, it's almost you're coming back to a, an old new territory, if you know what I mean. Yeah, look, we want to make fights that make sense, that sell arenas, you know, and... Uh, that's a fight that sells arenas. That's a fight. You think that, that sells an arena in, in Ireland? Yeah. Yeah, I think I think take that to the SSE. Yeah. I, got, I got in trouble for calling it the Odyssey earlier, but take that to the SSE. That's a fight that makes a lot of sense. You know, people want to see great fights, and that is a great fight. And they're both. At, it's not like they're six and zero, five and zero. They're both at a stage of their career where that's the kind of fight fight that makes sense. Again, I might be wrong. Maybe it doesn't happen, but that's very much a focus for us to try and get that fight done. Okay.